and shalom shalom it's the brother adopt you from the gms port city mobile alabama camp coming at you with another lesson but before i get started i want to give all glory praise and honor unto yahweh bahashem yahweh shah bahashem rikakwadash double understood apostles of elders a great millstone who teach rule well peace and salutation to the whole for you like to you i want to say shalom all right and this one is called we are meant to have more all right I'm just going to get straight into it. Uh, this is Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 1. It say, And it shall come to pass, if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of Yehovah thy power, to observe and to do all his commandments, which I command thee this day, that Yehovah thy power will set thee on high above all nations of the earth. All right, us Israelites must obey Yehovah by Hashem Yehovah Shah. All right, if we don't, we must be punished. And that's what this chapter is chapter is going into, you know, because we disobeyed the Heavenly Father. Hey, then we shall be punished, man, you know. So it reads, if we shall listen to the Heavenly Father and obey his commandments, then all these blessings shall come on thee and overtake thee, if thou shalt hearken unto the voice of Yahweh thy power. All right. Being obedient to the Father is a good thing. But in today's society, it's frowned upon. You know, you, you get teased and called names and become an outcast for doing what is right. But, hey, being rebellious will get you in the, in the um, uh, world of trouble, man. All right. Verse 3, it say, Blessed shall thou be in the city, and blessed shall thou be in the field. All right. We would have been blessed here, you know, on earth, you know, where we dwell, man. You know, only if we would have, listen, man, only if we would have kept the Lord's ways, I mean, the Lord's ways, man. It say, blessed shall be the fruit of thy body and the fruit of thy ground and the fruit of thy cattle, the increase of thy kind and the flocks of thy sheep. Okay. Hey, no complications, you know, of the body, you know, headaches, backaches, you know, gout. STDs, you know, um, glaucoma, you know, blindness, you know, e even your sperm count, man, you know. Hey, women wouldn't suffer miscarriages or uh, uh, having a, a child that's defigured, you know, or with Down syndrome or none of that, man. All right, verse 5, it say, Blessed shall be thy basket and thy store, okay? If we serve our power, you how about Shem, you how shot. You know, then the Black Wall Street one of you know been bombed by these devils, man. You know, our business it should have been booming and, and prosperous, man, on a whole nother level, man. Alright. But hey, we went off, man. Verse six it say, Blessed shall thou be when thou comest in, and blessed shall thou be when thou goest out. Born wealthy, you know, having riches, you know, having farm animals. Women having their long natural hair, men having their statues, you know, tall and whatnot. You know, Israel not having problems in life, suffering, you know. It say, the Lord shall cause thine enemies that rise up against thee to be smitten before thy face. They shall come out against thee one way, and thee before thee, Salaki, and flee before thee seven ways. Come, man, you know. Having our feet on these heathens' neck, man. You know, them being our slaves. Us judging them, you know, because we were a nation of priests and judge, you know. But we fell from our heritage, man. You know, per pertaining to um Second Thessalonians um, 2 and 3. All right. Um, Deuteronomy 28, verse 8, it say, The Lord shall command the blessing upon thee in thy storehouses and in all that thou settest thine hand unto. And he shall bless thee in the land which Yahweh thy power giveth thee. All right. We supposed to be eating real meat, you know, straight from the field, you know, butchered up, you know, to the stove, to the plate. You know, nothing with preservatives in it or, or genetically modified engineered food, man. You know, all foods have chemicals in it, man. You know, poisons and drugs. You know, that that's not pure food, man. The scriptures say um, that we shall eat our our bread defiled, man, amongst the heathen. And that's what we're doing, man. 
All right. On Deuteronomy 28, verse 9, it says, The Lord shall establish thee and holy people unto himself. All right. When you go into that word holy, it means separate, man. You know. It say Deuteronomy 28, verse 9, it say, The Lord, Yahweh, shall establish thee and holy people unto himself. All right. Meaning a separate people unto himself. You know. It say, As he has sworn unto thee, if thou shalt keep the commandments of Yahweh thy power and walk in his ways. All right. The Lord has chosen us, the so called blacks, Hispanics, and Native American Indians, you know, as his people, man. All right. His Israelites, man. You know, his peculiar treasure, the apple of his eye, man. Verse 10, it say, And all people of the earth shall see that thou art called by the name of Yahweh, and they shall be afraid of these. All right. Israel, you know. They they're afraid of us, but not that afraid like they was when we were, you know, in control, you know, ruling back then, man. Because hey, they were blessed with the sword to rule the whole earth, you know. But they know that our God is putting us back in power, man, over all the nations, you know, and, and, and they know that that rising of Judah is at hand, man. They know it must come to pass, man. They they they're afraid of that. All right, on um, verse 11, it say, And Yahweh shall make thee plenteous in goods, in the fruit of thy body, and in the fruit of thy cattle, and in the fruit of thy ground, in the land which Yahweh swore unto the fathers to give thee. All right, this is what you, this is what it's like, you know, to really, truly be blessed, man. You know, you having more than enough of everything, man. You know, not barely getting by. Okay, we 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 short on money this week, so you can only make a cheese sandwich or a turkey sandwich, but not a, a turkey and cheese sandwich, man. You know. But hey, all people quick to say that they're blessed, you know, blessed and highly favored, man. You know, we 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 the the Lord, you know, give give you you know give you a little treat here and there, man. You know, but as a whole, we are not blessed, man. We're under the curses. You know, a Deuteronomy 28, which is, which is, you know, the book that I'm in now, but it's further down. But right now, these are, are, are the blessings. These, this could have been the state that we could have been in if we would have just obeyed the Lord, man. But we didn't. So all these are turned to curses, man. All right. Um, Deuteronomy 28 and 12, it says, the Lord shall open unto thee his good treasure. The heaven to give the rain unto thy land in his season, and to bless all the work of thine hand, and thou shalt lend unto many nations, and thou shalt not borrow. Alright, but right now, hey, we are the borrowers, man. We are the ones that gotta ask and beg for a few dollars when we just got paid yesterday, man. Hey, Jake get the ass in of everything, man. But like I say, all people like to say they bless man all right verse 13 to say and the lord shall make thee the head and not the tail and thou shalt be above only and thou shalt not be beneath if that thou hearken unto the commandments of the lord yahweh thy power which i command thee this day to observe and to do them okay hey we should be in power right now man you know we should be the ones that get the recognition you know of, of good righteous things, you know, amongst all the nations, man. You know, we shouldn't be the ones that get looked down upon in everything we do, man. But verse 14, it say, And thou shalt not go aside from any of the words which I command thee this day, to the right hand or to the left, to go after other gods to serve them. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of Yahweh thy power, to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Come, man, you know. And, and you know, like I say, when you keep reading down, it goes into the curses, which is basically the same thing that was just read about the blessings, you know. But instead of all these good things that I just read, it is turned to a curse for us, man. For us Israelites, man. The nation of Israel. Alright. Hey, right now we are a cursed nation. Not a blessed nation. 
You know, that's why we always say, you know, as well as the scriptures, you know, that the curses of Deuteronomy 28, you know, fits us and no other nation, man. Ain't nobody suffering here like Israelites, man. You know, we, we, we are the, the, the most hated nation on this earth. You know, because we are the Lord's chosen people. You know, hey, the the Lord got, you know, good things. Hey, he, we supposed to have good things as well, man. You know, when the Lord come back, hey, we're going to be joint heirs with the Lord, man. You know, we 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 going to do marvelous things in the heavens, man. You know, we're going to have those superpowers, man. You know. But um, let's get into Second Ezra chapter six, um, verse fifty-three. It say, "Upon the sixth day, thou gavest commandment unto the earth that before thee it should bring forth beasts, cattle, and creeping things. And after these, Adam also, whom thou madest lord of all thy creatures, of him come we all, and the people also whom thou hast chosen." All right. It say. All this have I spoken before thee, O Lord, because thou madest the world for our sake, and that our is his chosen people, man, the Israelites, so-called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native American Indians, and their descendants, you know, was the world created for, man. All right, Second Edge 6, verse 56, it say, As for the other people, which also come of Adam, thou hast said they are nothing but be like unto spittle, and has likened the abundance of them into a drop that follows from a vessel. All right, you know, all the other nations, man. Hey, the Lord don't give a damn about these, you know, these Japanese, these Chinese. All right, these um, Arabs, these Africans, these East Indians, these white people. All right. He don't, he, he, he don't give a, a, a damn about the Germans, you know. He only care about Israel, man. You know, his peculiar treasure, man. But verse 57, it say, And now, O Lord, behold, these heathens, which have ever been reputed as nothing, have begun to be lords over us and to devour us. Come, you know, because we didn't follow the law that was given to us by the Heavenly Father. He made us to serve our enemies. It say, But we are thy people. Whom thou hast called thy firstborn, thy only begotten, and thy fervent lover, are given into their hands. God, man, you know, we are yet this day in our captivity. All right. Verse 59, it say, If the world now be made for our sakes, why do we not possess an inheritance with the world? How long shall this endure? All right. The world was made for our sakes, was made for the Israelites. You know, pertaining to the second edge of 7 and 11. But the Heavenly Father gave the ruling to Esau. All right. Um, Job 9 and 24. The earth was given into the hands of the wicked. Okay. But, hey, the trial of the wicked is but for a short time, man. You know, it's only but for a moment. You know, when the Lord returns, he is, he is going to put everything back in his righteous order, man. You know. But from now on, um, Ecclesiastes 10 and 5, it say, There is an evil which I have seen under the sun, as an error which proceeded from the ruler. All right, then the ruler being Esau, man. It say, Folly is set in great dignity, and the rich sit in low places. All right. I have seen servants upon horses, and princes walking as servants upon the earth. All right, it's, and, and, and being a prince, you know, it's top level under the king, man. You know, a prince should have everything, basically, except that top rulership because the king is still in power, man. You know, but <coughs> hey, a, a, a prince, <coughs> a prince have way more than a peasant, man. All right. But um, I'm going to end it off right here in this Jeremiah chapter 5, verse 25. It say, your iniquities have turned all, your iniquities have turned away these things, and your sins have withholding good things from you. Kind man. Hey, this is the purpose of this lesson. 
Israel, we got to come back to our heritage of knowing who we are and knowing what we are. You know, we will soon inherit the kingdom with our Lord. And just one day in the kingdom with our Lord is better than a thousand of your best days here in captivity, man. You know, so, hey, through the scriptures, hey, we supposed to have more, man. We, we, was, we, we were meant to have more, man. You know, but Lord willing, this lesson will edify to you. I want to say shalom.